Hello, good morning. I wanted to tell you that it takes faith to talk to God. When you need deliverance from a demon because you find yourself doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing, things that are not normal, you know, it could be eating things um, that are not food, you know, or um, just doing certain things like self-harm. Maybe, um, I don't know, to, to any degree is what I want to say. That is demonic influence, okay? And I wanted to talk about, you know, people watching horror movies and stuff like that. Horror movies and certain music that you listen to. Because your eyes and your ears are the, the gates to your soul, okay? And um, so you, it's serious, you guys, when uh, you hear Christian people talking about how serious it is to be careful what you're putting into, your, into yourself, into your spirit, through your eyes and your ears, what you're watching, what you're watching when you're scrolling or when you're looking things up, <clears throat> and what you're listening to. Because it does open up the door to the devil. The spirit realm is real. And things do transfer. Spirits transfer. There is no distance in the spirit. The Bible teaches us that there is no distance in the spirit. So that's how come pow prayer is powerful and it works in the same way. In, in that you can pray over somebody. You can pray for somebody and intercede for them. Or, and it, there will be an effect. Okay, the same way witchcraft works. Okay, someone can cast a spell or, or whatever, you know, and, and it will work on that person if they're not covered in the blood of Jesus and they're not saved by grace through faith because it does take faith. It takes faith to say a prayer to God to protect you, to save you, to deliver you from evil spirits, okay? And deliverance, you guys, isn't just like in the movie Deliverance, because I know that's a big um, topic right now, whether you should watch that movie on Netflix or not. But um, honestly, the answer is no. I was, I was going to watch it, and then I was convicted. The Holy Spirit convicted me and protected me from watching it. So it does take faith to talk to God, okay? It takes faith to talk to God because if you, especially if you're somebody that doesn't know God, if you don't have a relationship with God already, but you know that Jesus is real, you know, you know that God is real, but you don't really pray often, you know, you, you're not, um, you haven't been baptized, you don't really go to church, stuff like that. You know, it's today could be the day of salvation for you. All it takes is a simple prayer like, Jesus, I believe you're real and that you gave your life on the cross for me and that you are the son of God and that you rose again on the third day and defeated death on the cross to save me for my sins you paid the price for my sins I receive you as my Lord and Savior help me to get to know you help me to learn to hear your voice teach me how to be a better person provide for me a Bible if you don't already have one and um And let your will be done in my life, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you say amen right now, it's it's that simple. <clears throat> you could just say amen and agree. Or play the rewind the video and then receive it. Listen to the words again of the prayer and say it yourself. Or just agree wholeheartedly. Okay? And then in that moment, instantly, you will be saved you will be filled with the holy spirit you will be a new creation in christ and it'll be it'll be the moment where you receive jesus okay so if you did congratulations 
And um, it does take faith to pray like that, to say a prayer of salvation. And it does take faith to ask God to deliver you from demons, okay? To take away these evil spirits, these evil thoughts, intrusive thoughts, because they're not your own. And so a lot of these things, people are suffering in silence because they don't know how to describe these struggles with other people without them calling you crazy or telling you you're insane or that like you need to be put into a mental hospital, okay? Because that's what it sounds like, crazy. And these things are crazy because the devil is crazy. And God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Those are the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Is power. The power. You get power through Jesus Christ because he is almighty God. There is only one God, okay? Whether you believe it or not, whether anybody believes it or not, it doesn't change the fact that he is the one true God. There's evidence all over the internet, all over, all around you all the time of, of God's existence. Okay? And, and, and people blind themselves and reject it because they just, they just, they love their sin more. And they deliberately choose to want to sin because believing in Jesus would mean admitting that they are wrong in their own ways. Amen. Amen just means, do you agree? And if you agree, you say amen. That's Christian talk. And you're going to learn all that. But, um, you'll, you'll learn, you'll, you'll learn that. And, um, <clears throat> you'll shout hallelujah every time someone mentions some sort of miracle that God has done for you, like, hallelujah, amen. Because your life will consist of miracles, and let me tell you off the bat, child of God, because if you said that prayer, you, you are now a child of God. You're bought and paid for, okay? Salvation is a free gift from God. Receiving Jesus Christ is that simple as the prayer we just did. It's that simple. And it's a free gift. To, you know, it's, it's for God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe will not die, will not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, because when you die, there is eternity. Your soul goes somewhere, okay? And you know that the spirit realm is real because of the topic, the way I started this video. If you know that there's evil spirits, then surely God is real. And he is more powerful and there is true deliverance through Jesus Christ. You cannot cast out the devil with witchcraft. You cannot cast out the devil with all these with sage and all these extra rituals it takes nothing but a prayer and that takes faith and it's impossible to please god without faith that's why we walk by sight or we walk by uh faith not by sight sorry <laughs> we walk by faith not by sight and um that's what pleases god because it is it takes uh, a humble heart to admit that you're not the one in control and that God is. And so that's why you're going to acknowledge God in all your ways from now on. You're going to pray about everything. Pray without stopping and let God show up in your life and answer your prayers. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Right away, no. But he will. Un the answers to your prayers will unfold on God's timing. And all you have to do is to keep your faith and believe and trust that God can and that he will because he is faithful. And you don't have to be discouraged when it doesn't happen right away. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video because this one...